What's up traders and welcome to another episode of Trade Life with me. So on this episode of Trade Life with me, we're going to be trading live on my live account using a strategy, perhaps using a strategy I already taught you guys on this particular channel. The strategy was taught to you guys about uh, five days ago and it has gone viral, which is just the opening range breakout strategy by Demazel Godlove. So you have to put my name on it because the way I have tweaked, the way I have changed things, that's the only way the strategy will be able to work. If you can watch the other strategy, the other ones on the internet, they might not work the same way. I have fine-tuned it my own way. What's up, guys? For those who of you who are watching and doesn't know who I am, or those of you watching me for the first time, my name is Indemanza Godlove. I've been trading Forex for 10 years now. And my goal on this channel is to provide you guys tips and tricks on how to make money from the Forex market consistently so if you're watching me and you haven't subscribed make sure you smash that subscribe button below to subscribe to the channel let's get into the video so before we even start this live session please i'm not going to be wasting time going on the strategy video so please you need to first of all master the strategy if you haven't watched that video about the strategy or if you watched last time and you didn't understand just click the link above or i'm going to leave the link again on the video description Go and watch that strategy first so that you understand the strategy because on this video, since this is a time-sensitive video and a time-sensitive strategy, we're just going to be diving in straight to the strategy, straight to the uh, actual live training, right? So just click the link above or check the link on the video description. Go and watch the video on the strategy and then come back here, all right? Now, assuming you've already watched the video about the strategy, let's let's go. I hope you guys can see my screen very, very clear. So according to the strategy, when you, the session starts, you can see here we have the Tokyo session. Tokyo session is clearly right here, all right? This is a Tokyo session here, uh, and the London session just started about 30 minutes ago. So, so long as this candle hasn't been broken. So this is the first 15 minutes after 9 a.m. So the London session, my time, starts at 9 a.m. So at 9 a.m., from 9 a.m. to 9.15, the most significant candle is going to be this one. So at the close of that candle, I'm just going to mark the low of the day, the high of the day, and my sell stop is going to go here. My buy stop is going to go here. As easy as that, all right? As easy as that. So you can see, we still have inner candles, meaning my sell stop or my buy stop hasn't been triggered yet. So we're going to put the buy stops and the sell stops together. Now, let's see where reasonably our stop loss can be placed, right? Let's start with the long position. So our buy stop is going to be placed here, just a few pips from the high of the day. So this is where our buy stop, then our, our stop loss is going to be placed where our, uh, uh, our stop loss is going to be placed where our sell stop is supposed to be. So the distance from year to year is X, known as our stop loss. And then we'll be going for a risk to reward uh, of one is to two. So let's go for a risk to reward of one is to two, bam. So that's a risk to reward of one is to two. And if we measure this distance from here to here, that's a distance of 41 pips, all right? So let's go now to our MT5 where we're gonna be placing the trade just to confirm that particular distance. And if you come here, our account balance here is we're trading on this 26,000, you can see live A2. I use this one strictly for this strategy. And on a $26,000 uh, uh, account, let's measure from year to year to confirm if it's actually 41 pips. From here to here, good, that's 41 pips. All right, that's 41 pips. So now we know that our stop loss distance is 41, uh, 41 pips, and we're gonna be risking 2% of this account. So let's go and calculate the lot size we're gonna use for this particular account, right? You can just go to Lionheart Funding Program. You go on tools and you choose the calculate, uh, position size calculation was the position size calculator to be able to calculate the lot size, all right? Uh, let me just uh, go here, go on tools, and then you have trading calculators. That's very, very important because I want us to calculate the lot size we're going to be using, all right? So stay with me on this. Then position size, click on position size in pips. The currency pair we're trading is gold, SA, SAU, right? So SAU, USD. SAUUSD should be right down here. This is SAUUSD. Then the account balance, remember, was 26,000. And we are risking 2% of our account. Stop loss is 41 pips. So we're just going to click on calculate. 
and boom, we're going to be using a lot size of 1.3, all right? Meaning our risk on this particular trade is $520, all right? We are risking $520 on this particular trade. And the lot size we are using so that if the trade doesn't go our way, we're going to only lose $520. It's going to be 1.3 it's 1.266 by just rounding it is 1.3 perfect come with me now we already know our lot size so we quickly go here and we go here and we put 1.3 right 1.3 and then with that 1.3 we just come here where we have the high of the day remember our high of the day here is just here and our low of the day is just here so that's where our buy stop and our sell stop is supposed to go. So we just click there, just click here, go here. Let's just make sure. Okay. We just go here, go on trading and we go on buy stop. Good. So that's buy stop. Our buy stop is placed and we go here, we go here. Just below here, we go here and place our sell stop. Sell stop. So we're just going to quickly modify and let's go on buy stop and we'll modify let's start with buy stop we go on modify position we go now to let's start with uh, a stop loss so the stop loss value is supposed to be uh stop loss is 2517 2517 2517 remember our stop loss for the buy stop is here so we modify and then you can do the same thing for the sell stop. We we'll just go and modify. We we'll go down on the stop loss for the sell stop. So the stop loss is going to be on 2521. 2521. And then you modify. So we we'll just go again on the TP. You just click on modify again. Put TP. So TP is going to be two times the stop loss. So since uh, our stop loss is 41 pips and our buy stop is here our take profit is going to be here on 82 pips so our take profit is going to be somewhere here so you just do the same thing for me not to uh, uh, take time and make the video uh, very long i'm just going to do it off the screen but that's what you do that's how you put your your, your take profit on both positions always go for a risk to reward of one is to two so if you can see on my history that's our account balance right there those are our two positions. You can see buy stop and sell stop. Lot size is 1.3, 1.3. We've already put our stop loss. We're going to put our take profit. So we just sit and wait. We just sit and wait. One of these positions are going to be open. And then we'll come back again after a couple of hours. And we'll see how our trade is progressing. A few moments later. A few minutes later and our buy stop is triggered. If you can see here, this is where our buy stop was triggered. And we are already up by almost about half one arrow all right our stop loss is now here so after seeing this let's go to mt5 and see what's going on so if we go on mt5 voila you can see this is where our buy stop was triggered we are already up by almost about by almost about 23 pips so we are already up by almost about 23 pips you can see now what we'll do is we'll manually delete our sell stop since our buy stop has been triggered Let's manually delete our sell stop. You can see sell stop is deleted. We have our stop loss on this trade right here and our take profit right here. That's the risk to reward of we're going for 41 pips and we are going for 82 pips. So even if you want to be sure, just click here, go to modify. You can go on stop loss. You can see 41 pips, take profit, 82 pips. That's the risk to reward of one is to two. Voila, I'm just practicing what I preach. You guys can be able to see this clearly. We're going to come back again after a couple of minutes or hours hopefully to see if we've hit our take profit or if we've hit our stop loss but i'm so so confident on this particular trade because even as a point of confluence the upper trend is resuming and we have our stop loss in place we have our take uh, our take profit in place in trading sometimes you just need to trust on your analysis and you can't control you can't have any control over the outcome of the trade so you just sit and wait for it and know that okay even if this one doesn't go my way according to my risk management i just need a couple of winners but i'm so confident on this one we're gonna come back after a couple of hours and i'll keep you guys posted peace <music>
welcome back guys so i let the trade to play while i was outside uh, running other, uh, other errands and as you guys can see you guys could see on both screens how the trade was playing out so we're almost up by um by by 52 pips all right by 52 pips and then we're just left with about 30 pips to hit our take profit and the market retrace against us all right so now on how can you manage your trade in this particular scenario you can see on both sides this is both on mt4 and on the x uh, mt4 and this is on trading view so on trading view you can see this is our entry this is our stop loss right here right so if i just click on it you guys can see our stop loss is right there so we are pushing right down now we might trigger our stop loss so how can you manage your risks in this particular case there are some people that prefer to use trailing stop, which your trailing stop is just equal to the to your stop loss distance. Meaning, if your stop loss is 41 pips, then you just put trailing stop as 41 pips. Meaning, as soon as the market went in our favor for 41 pips, the stop loss was supposed to be here. Meaning, this trade would have been a break-even trade. We wouldn't have uh, gotten any wins or any loss. It would have just been a break-even trade. So that's the another way you can manage your trade. It just depends on the idea you had before getting into the trade. For me personally, I just wanted the market to roll right up to my stop loss. I didn't want to remove uh, or trade my stop or anything. So that's why you can see this one is a loss and I'm going to be losing 2% on this particular trade. It's not a loss yet, but you can see it's actually pushing to our stop loss. It just left our 10 pips to hit our stop loss. And I know it's going to hit our stop loss. Let's just wait and see. You can see that's it, that's it. Let me just put this one on full screen so that we can see. Let me put this one on full screen because I guess it's going to hit our stop loss now. You can see our loss on the trade is 400 and uh, let's put it on full screen so that you guys can see. So our loss so far is 438 pips. But remember when we did the analysis somewhere here, let's put this one too on full screen. Remember we when we calculated on line hat funding program uh, position calculator, the risk on this trade is $520 meaning we can't lose more than $520. So let's see, you can see the market is pulling back against us. We haven't triggered our stop loss here uh, yet. We'll come back again after a couple of minutes or maybe after a couple of hours to see. There can actually be a retracement here, but we'll be very, very lucky because the market almost hit our stop loss. A few moments later. Ooh, ooh, guys, as you can see, we just hit stop loss on this particular trade. Like I explained earlier, if we're actually using a trailing stop, then you would have been out of the trade with maybe plus 20 pips or break even. But I wasn't using a trailing stop. I was I was like, okay, it's an all or nothing trade. It's either I lose 2% or I make 4%. So that's why I'm totally fine because I already accepted this. If I'm down by maybe five trades for the day, then I'm going to be done. But for now, that's it. I'm down by 2%. And if I can just... Uh, open this let's go to trading view and see you can see this was our nice entry here after the london breakout here nice entry push up by 51 pips if we're trailing it would have come out by maybe about plus 15 pips then the market push against us and trigger our stop loss right here you can see let me just click on this so that you can see that's our stop loss right there this is our stop loss right here take profit was going to be here but we are out of the trade so what we're just going to do, let's go on MetaTrader 5 to see if our risk management calculation was correct, right? Let's go on the history and you can see the amount we lose is $581. $581. Let's go back here and go on the position size calculator to see what we had when we did the calculation. $520. So, all right, you see. So our risk on that trade, 2% of our account, 2% of $26,000 was $520. And you can see... We just we lose 580 dollars meaning it's around the same point because remember at that point in time if the volatility is still high the market can just push against me uh, by maybe one or two pips and that's what uh, that's why we have um we have this amount right here which is uh, uh 581 dollars all right that's it and then uh let's just go here on uh we don't have any trade open as of now so let's just wait to during the new york session then we're going to come back again you can see if we go here the new york session is not yet open it's going to be open at 3 p.m my time this is this was new york yesterday which we keyed it you can see we key new york yesterday and we also kill the uh tokyo session but i normally don't advise you guys to uh, trade the tokyo session because it's, it's very very tricky 
So we are just waiting for the New York session and we're going to try again. But you guys have been able to see me uh, trading step by step on a live account. I wanted to document everything so that you guys can see both my winners and my losses, so that you guys can see the trading psychology, how I manage my rigs, how I manage my money on the entire trade. If we don't come back again on part two during the uh, New York session, if I'm too busy, then we're going to take again another day again we'll be able to go across all market sessions but hopefully we'll see again during the uh, new york session and as always as always if you want to learn this strategy in detail trading with me live uh, and also learn eight more strategies that students in golov university are using to make money just check the link on the video description to enroll on my forex a to z beginner to pro course that course has changed thousands upon thousands of lives and you are not an exception. So check the link on the uh, video description to enroll in Golov University. And if you want to use my recommended brokers, recommended prop firms, if you want to also sign to my free Telegram community or join even uh, most of my free services, check all the links on the video description. Trade with a broker that will be able to pay you. So check the link below to also trade with my recommended brokers. And as always, I can't finish the video without talking about uh, the most popular and the most viral forex robot which is patrix pro patrix pro you can still be able to bring patrix pro on strategies like this and you just choose one direction you choose the direction that the market has gone in that particular direction and the robot will handle everything all right so check the link below to also get patrix pro thank you guys so much for watching check out this video which was uh, the original strategy of the video the original strategy video check out this playlist which are other videos are programmed for you guys click here to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and i'll see you guys on these other videos peace